Hello, everybody. Thank you for buying the July issue of CNN English Express. In honor of this year's FIFA World Cup tournament, we'd like to introduce you to a World Heritage Site in the Republic of South Africa, host nation for the 2010 round of professional soccer's four yearly high point. We've selected Robben Island, which was inscribed on the World Heritage List in 1999. From the 17th to the 20th centuries, in other words, until quite recently, Robben Island served as a place of banishment, isolation, and imprisonment. Perhaps its most well-known resident was Nelson Mandela, who was imprisoned there during South Africa's apartheid era, and as you probably know, went on to become the country's president and a Nobel laureate. We'll tell you some more about Robben Island later. First, we've got a lesson to study, so let's get to it. Professional listening techniques. Punk pioneer Malcolm McLaren has passed away. The producer is credited with launching the Sex Pistols. He died of cancer. McLaren's London boutique with uh, his then partner Vivian Westwood featured the leather, the ripped shirts, the mohawk, things that really defined punk style. He went on to make his own groundbreaking music and also to manage other influential bands. Malcolm McLaren, 64 years old. Punk pioneer Malcolm McLaren has passed away. The producer is credited with launching the Sex Pistols. He died of cancer. McLaren's London boutique, with his then partner Vivian Westwood, featured the leather, the ripped shirts, the mohawks, things that really defined punk style. He went on to make his own groundbreaking music and also to manage other influential bands. Malcolm McLaren, 64 years old. Punk pioneer Malcolm McLaren has passed away. The producer is credited with launching the Sex Pistols. He died of cancer. McLaren's London boutique with his then-partner Vivian Westwood featured the leather, the ripped shirts, the mohawks, things that really defined punk style. He went on to make his own groundbreaking music and also to manage other influential bands. Malcolm McLaren, 64 years old. Basic training number one. Passengers wanted for epic taxi tour. If you like taxi rides, Consider this offer from Australian Tourism Authority. They're looking for five foreign and six Australian couples for what's called the Extraordinary Taxi Ride. It's a nine-week journey over 11,000 kilometres in Western Australia. Each couple will travel one leg of the all-expenses-paid trip starting April 9th and is expected to blog and tweet about it. Besides Aussies, the contest is open to tourists from the UK, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia and Germany. If you like taxi rides, consider this offer from Australian Tourism Authorities. They're looking for five foreign and six Australian couples for what's called the Extraordinary Taxi Ride. It's a nine-week journey over 11,000 kilometers in Western Australia. Each couple will travel one leg of the all-expenses-paid trip starting April 9th and is expected to blog and tweet about it. Besides Aussies, the contest is open to tourists from the UK, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia, and Germany. If you like taxi rides, consider this offer from Australian Tourism Authorities. They're looking for five foreign and six Australian couples for what's called the Extraordinary Taxi Ride. It's a nine-week journey over 11,000 kilometers in Western Australia. Each couple will travel one leg of the all-expenses-paid trip starting April 9th and is expected to blog and tweet about it. 
Besides Aussies, the contest is open to tourists from the UK, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia, and Germany. Basic training number two. Twitter top 10 billion. Twitter hit a huge milestone just in the last 25 minutes or so. It hit 10 billion tweets. It was just over a year ago, November 2008, in fact, that the social media website reached a billion tweets. By last October, 5 billion tweets. And now, just five months later, hitting the 10 billion mark. Perhaps it's not surprising that this happened so quickly. Twitter gets about 50 million tweets every single day. Twitter hit a huge milestone just in the last 25 minutes or so. It hit 10 billion tweets. It was just over a year ago, November 2008 in fact, that the social media website reached a billion tweets. By last October, 5 billion tweets. And now, just five months later, hitting the 10 billion mark. Perhaps it's not surprising that this happened so quickly. Twitter gets about 50 million tweets every single day. Twitter hit a huge milestone just in the last 25 minutes or so. It hit 10 billion tweets. It was just over a year ago, November 2008 in fact, that the social media website reached a billion tweets. By last October, 5 billion tweets. And now, just 5 months later, hitting the 10 billion mark. Perhaps it's not surprising that this happened so quickly. Twitter gets about 50 million tweets every single day. Yeah.